Hello everyone, my name is Zephyr and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to merge your Minecraft worlds on the Xbox version of Minecraft. You're going to need a couple of apps and they're relatively cheap. The first one is going to be called My File Explorer. It's going to be this purple app right here and as you can see it's $2.60 but for this one you can just get the free trial because once you open it it's going to make you download this app, Expansion for Explorers, and that one I do recommend you buy. But, just for the sake of this video, I made two very basic worlds, two super flats. I named them respectively, like and subscribe, and that's something that you should do if you enjoyed this video and it helps out. But as you can see, I made this lovely little house. Super simple, super nice. And... I wanted to make sure I packed it with as much stuff as I could just to showcase that this will transfer pretty much everything, even chests. I put a chest inside of a chest. So once you've opened up your expansion for Explorers, you're going to be greeted with a bunch of shortcut folders. If you don't have them or if they don't show up, don't worry. I'll show you how to access your Minecraft folders using a different method. So just make sure you're paying attention. But if you do have them, go into your MC worlds and just look for the worlds that you want to merge and just copy them. Make sure you have a USB or some other external hard drive plugged into your Xbox and then go into the removable drive folder and paste it in there. Don't worry about these files. They're completely unrelated that I have on mine. Those are files I use for 3D printing. But uh, this is the part you're going to want to make sure you pay attention on if you do not have your shortcuts. You're going to want to look for your Microsoft.mojang, local state, games, com.mojang, and here are all of your folders for Minecraft. So once again, just go into your worlds, locate the worlds you want to merge, and do the exact same thing that I just showed. I should also point out that I had a really weird glitch happen to me to where any new worlds I try to make no longer appear on here, so that's the reason why some of my worlds are named, because I had to download them. So once you're done with the previous steps, you can now move on to your PC, and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go onto the internet and search up MCA Selector. This is a program that you're going to want to download on your computer. And here is where you go to get it. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down so I can show you guys what it looks like. And the two links to install it. I'm running Windows, so I use the Windows installer. If you have anything else, just use the universal link. And just go ahead and let it install once it's done, you should have a setup that kind of looks like this. I highly advise you to go ahead and get Minecraft for your computer. If not, you can just skip most of this. But uh, if you do have Minecraft on the computer, I'm going to show you how to access your Minecraft world. So go ahead down here, type in run, and you're going to want to type this exact little phrase and hit OK. And what this should do is it's going to bring you to this. And you're going to want to scroll down. And it's going to be very similar to the Expansion for Explorers thing that I showed you. You're going to look for packages. Look for your Microsoft.Minecraft folder. There, there it is. Local state. Games. Com.mojang. And voila. Now, I highly recommend making a shortcut for your Minecraft worlds as it'll make things so much easier for you rather than having to do this step every time. 
So once you've done all of that and you have a similar looking setup like this, I'm going to show you how to open up your amulet. So you want to double click on that folder, scroll down until you see the amulet app.exe. You double click on that and it will open up amulet. But now you're gonna wanna go ahead and plug in your USB, hit copy on the two worlds, and this is exactly why I said it's very important that you make a shortcut. Because from here, you're going to want to paste them into your Minecraft Worlds folder. And they'll just go right in like usual. Make sure you do that to both of them. And from there, you can close out. Now, the reason why I said you should have Minecraft on your PC is just so you can make sure that you're doing everything correctly and it is actually downloading your worlds onto your computer and they're transferring over. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to open up both worlds just to make sure that they are the same worlds that I'm trying to transfer over. So... As you can see, here is the first world. It is completely plain. It is just a regular old super flat. This is the one that we're going to be merging with our world that has the house. So now I'm just going to start up that world. And as you can see, it is the exact same world, exact same house and everything. So you do not really have to do this part. I just recommend you do it to make sure everything's working. But now you're going to want to go ahead and open up your amulets and everything is going to be done on here. Amulet so far is the only real like world merging app, the only real like world edit app that uh that I know works for Bedrock which is the version of Minecraft that runs for the Xbox, Nintendo Switch. Pretty much console version of Minecraft is Minecraft Bedrock, and Amulet is the only Minecraft Bedrock like world edit app that I know works. So once you've opened up Amulet, you're going to want to go ahead and select the world. Once you have a world, just go over to 3D editor and this should take a second now one thing i will say about using amulet is that you have to be extremely patient when using it because it runs even worse than minecraft it is unbearably slow but it's worth it in the end because this is the only real tool that i know of that'll let you like mass merge entire cities i am just doing a small little house for the sake of the video but I have actually transferred entire cities into one world. But once it's finally decided to load up your actual Minecraft world, it's going to take you to the last place that you were standing or your spawn. I was standing right in front of the house so we don't have to move too much. And it's going to give you a basically a replica of your Minecraft world and it's going to have these little tools on the side. Now if you're going to be transporting or merging a massive portion of your world you can go ahead and hit chunk but since we're doing a small little build and even with massive cities i recommend you use this method 
you're going to want to go back to select and it'll allow you to be a lot more precise with what you want to transport. Now, because this house is really small, it's going to be really easy, but uh, you just go ahead and find a corner of your build and left click on it. And it's going to bring these colored boxes and you want to just Bring that corner until it completely engulfs your build. Now, don't worry about it being perfect because you can use the little menu on the side to get it just right. So once you have it to where you're happy, you can come over here to this little sidebar and customize it to where it is just perfect exactly to how you want it. So as you can see, I am going up and down on these little... Uh, on these little bars, you can make it higher or lower so you can have it sitting above ground or you can sink it into the ground just a little bit. Now, spoiler, I did accidentally put it into the ground a little too low, but it's not that big of a deal. But uh, as you can see, you can do a whole lot of stuff with this. But as you can see, I have everything exactly how I want it. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to hit copy. And from here, you're going to want to hit main menu because you can now open up the world that you want to paste whatever you want to merge into. So I guess merge is kind of the wrong word to be using. You're really just copying and pasting builds, but if you think about it, it is merging two worlds together. But uh, just open up the world that we're gonna be pasting this into. And wow, this actually loaded up kind of fast for once. Come on. I hit chunk so that way that gets the uh, world to load a little bit faster. Just a little cheat code that I want to give you guys. We're going to go ahead and hit select again so that way we can be a bit more precise and actually see where we want to paste this. But since this is just a big area of open nothingness, I'm just going to paste it anywhere. But as you can see, we're going to have the menu again. You're going to want to hit paste and it's going to bring up the build that you are going to be transferring over so the small little house but before we go ahead and paste this in i'm going to show you guys how to use this little menu it looks simple enough but there is actually quite a lot you could do with this menu as you can see you can lower and raise the build this is exactly what i'm talking about i i accidentally sank it into the ground a little too much but just play around with this menu, make sure everything is exactly to your liking. You can even rotate the build 180 degrees or full 360 using these little arrows down here. And you can even flip the build, making it super easy to get it exactly how you want. But once you've played around with the settings and you have everything exactly to how you want it, you can go ahead go down to the very bottom and hit confirm and this will place your build in your map that you are trying to merge with and as you can see it is pasted in 
and you can do this as many times as you like. And when you feel like it's time to stop, you just go ahead, hit select again, and it'll get rid of it. Finally, when you are done and you are ready to have everything merge into one world, you want to come up to the corner and hit the save icon. And this will guarantee that it saves all of the work that you just did onto this world. And from here, you can just close out of Amulet completely and you are ready to move on to the next step. From here, we're going to want to do the reverse of how we got the worlds on here in the first place. So plug in your USB once again. As you can see, I've already deleted the copies of the world because you don't really need those anymore. You're going to be transferring these new and improved versions of the worlds. And you only really need to transfer the one that you've merged everything on here. But I'm going to go ahead and do both just for the sake of the video. And uh, go ahead, open up your shortcuts, copy and paste your worlds onto the USB. Don't mind me, I am, uh, I get my numbers mixed up sometimes. There you go, copy and paste it onto your USB. Like so. And once again, you don't really have to do this step. I am just doing it to prove to you guys that it does work. I opened up my Minecraft on my PC just so I can show you guys that this is in fact the, uh, the house that, I, uh, that we just merged. So as you can see, this is exactly what I was talking about. I accidentally sank it a bit too much into the ground and I was standing a little too close to the house when I placed it down, causing me to uh, literally spawn in the house. So I had to break my way out. But uh, yep, everything is exactly the same. So now we can go back to the Xbox plug in your USB, and you're going to want to do the reverse steps. So go into your removable disk drive folder, and you're going to want to move or copy, up to you, I just choose to move. Move your folders into your MC Worlds. And as you can see, I you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this to make it easier for myself. I'm going to delete the original copies because we're going to be replacing them with the modified ones. So let me just do that real quick. Again, that's not something that you have to do. I'm just doing it to uh, make it easier for myself so I don't get confused. And you know what? I recommend you guys do the same so you don't get confused either. But uh, go ahead and paste in your new world onto your MC Worlds folder. Once you're done, this next step is very important because you will screw up if you just straight up launch Minecraft. It's going to sound very weird, but you're going to want to go to your Minecraft and just straight up uninstall it, uninstall all versions of Minecraft that you have. Go to the Microsoft shop and type in SpongeBob. This is going to seem super weird, but there is a very good reason why you have to do it this way. It's because this Minecraft... Minecraft Spongebob pack will take you to the correct version of Minecraft that you want to install. Go ahead and install it. Once it's installed and it finishes, when you try to open it, it's going to say Minecraft needs an update. Update it. And once you've opened up your Minecraft, voila, your worlds should successfully transfer over. Here I have both of them, just like I showed you guys on the PC. And we're going to go ahead and open them up and take a look at them just to prove to you guys that these are the exact same worlds that we just merged. So I hope you guys found this video very helpful because 
I think I might be the only person on YouTube to actually show you how to merge Minecraft worlds for Minecraft Xbox or Minecraft console edition because believe me, I've looked and looked and no one has actually made a video on how to do it. I will be leaving comments turned on, so if you guys have any questions, I will do my best to try and answer them. But as always, be sure to like and subscribe as it greatly helps out the channel.